modified it a little bit, optimized it a little bit. And, uh, seems to work okay. I can't really put too much uh, bigger here where I'm at. I really can't go too much bigger there, 4 k and I got me to make up for them. They're stuck up there in the air out there, too. They're, uh, they're only up there about 15, 20 feet. But uh, for some odd reason, when I unhook my hand, try and hook it over that Mako, it shows less power on that Mako than it does this hand. I don't know why.
I do that, well, I'll have to uh, go check it, test out and, and see what's going on. Yeah, everybody, it sounds real good. Right, I'll get out of the way. Uh, 270 down here in North Springfield, Missouri. We're uh, out in yeah. Looks about. <laughs> yeah, get that off there. Looks about right there, I believe. There you go. Yeah, those guys were giving directions, and I didn't want to key on the local conversation over there. But uh, yeah, yeah, we got this thing uh, pretty much straight now. I mean, I just gotta do some a uh, little bit of fine tuning, because uh, I 
I gotta get it set up for this radio. Every radio I hook all this gear up to, you know, they all like a little bit of a different sound. But, uh, I'm almost there. Almost there, there, Roger. Hey, I hear you tweaking and a peeking. Hey, yeah, that's a change microphone. Or my internet over there. Our microphones are in. Hey, old president in Texas, stand by. Is it all? You know, just a touch of a knob sometimes makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> uh, I guess you're uh, you're uh, listening to yourself, I reckon. Juice this way. And, uh, yeah, it's sounding good, man. It's sounding, uh, uh, nothing like it did at first. You didn't cr- <laughs> and even the second day, you sounded better because you plugged a different mic in. And, uh, I think you might have plugged your rack gear in it. But, uh, uh, today is, uh, the A1 day. Sounding, uh, sounding top shelf out here in Missouri. That's all you're doing is modulating the lower power stage, so uh, efficiency really ain't a problem. But uh, sounds good. Uh, matter of fact, that would pass better audio than what I pass here. Uh, I'm kind of limited to, uh, to transformers in this thing. and uh, 
I got aggravated with it, so I, I, I got back on this other one, and I come back uh, come back to life, and I heard you out there. I just, uh, it's been a while. Sorry I missed you in Manchester, but maybe uh, maybe next year, good Lord willing. Anyway, uh, we will hold you up. You get back to the Houston over there. We just, uh, uh, we couldn't resist, so we did. But now we'll get back out of the way, and uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you. Back to your cues, though, out there. It was 
Scott, and uh, it's good to hear you. And I was looking forward to eyeballing you over. I'm gonna bring my welding goggles if I if I get to make it. Uh, we don't know yet. We don't want to plan nothing too far ahead of time because uh, stuff happens around here. But anyway, uh, we plan on being there. I'll be the tall, good-looking one from Texas, Tim Bar.